Well, I just wanted to say thank you to all our activists and all our members as we celebrate Labor Day 2016. It's going to be on Monday, September the 5th. Uh, certainly, I will be in Chicago along with many of our activists. But all across Canada, our sisters and brothers will celebrate the achievements of the labor movement. There will be picnics and parades in communities all across the country, everywhere from PEI to Nova Scotia, Edmonton, Red Deer and Moose Jaw, all the way over to Victoria, Campbell River and Vancouver in the Pacific region. There are dozens of events. I'm urging all our members and all our activists to go to the event in their community. You can look it up through your Labour Council or you can go to the Canadian Labour uh, Congress website www.canadianlabour.ca and search for events and they'll show the events that are in your community. As I said, there are dozens of them. Over the past year, the IEM has organized many new workplaces and this work continues under the strong leadership of our team of organizers from coast to coast. We've also negotiated and bargained many collective agreements representing thousands of our members in every jurisdiction. At least one third of our members have seen new collective agreements ratified over the past year. And hundreds of Canadian IAM members and our leaders have participated in training at the Wimpasinger Training Centre. Everything from leadership training to collective bargaining training and presenting arbitrations. In the past year, IAM activists worked on the federal election campaign. We were a big part of the Stop Harper campaign and we did see the end of the Harper era. We now moved on into the Trudeau era and for the IAM, the honeymoon with the Liberals ended quite soon with Bill C-10, which amended the Air Canada Public Participation Act, passed this summer in Parliament. The IEM had lobbied hard against it, and many of our activists participated in that lobbying. We sit and wait to see where the Liberals will take us next. In the spring of 2017, looking forward, we will see a major election in British Columbia, and IEM activists will be working to elect a progressive government in that province. In our view, it's time for the Christie Clark era to end also. Other campaigns that we're working on is the fight for $15 in fairness. We're looking for decent work for all workers, $15 minimum wage, the right to organize, fairness and respect in the, in the workplace, and rules that will protect all workers. This applies to workers who are not even in our, in our union or in any union, but workers who basically deserve to make a decent standard of living. And as I sit here today, uh, in, the, in the last part of August, we're headed into the IEM Convention 2016. In the IEM Convention, we will debate resolutions and set the path for the IEM's next four years. If you're a delegate, I look forward to seeing you there. If not, you can follow the proceedings with the IEM 2016 app on Apple or Android devices. Regardless of whether I see you or not, I hope you have a happy Labor Day and I look forward to our next year working together.